Try before you buy. What if you could live in a property before you commit to buying it? That's exactly what we did with this house in Sal Vicente. In this video, we share our tips and ideas on how to find your dream home on the island of Madeira. The first thing we did when we made the decision to retire to Madeira was to start looking at houses. So we did what every good English person does, head for right move to their overseas property website. At this point, we had no idea which part of the island we wanted to live in, but this house in São Vicente stood out for us. We were keen to visit, but COVID had stopped international travel. So as soon as we got the go ahead, we used Airbnb to book two properties on different sides of the island. We couldn't believe it when the house that stood out for us on right move was on Airbnb and available to book for our visit. It was a lovely house in a lovely location, but listed at 410,000 euros, it just didn't work for us for the golden visa property investment. Explore the island. When you visit the island, hire a car so you can explore different areas. We loved being in the north with its beautiful green landscape. It was peaceful and had the calm pace of life we were craving. We felt sure it was the right area for us, but we still drove around exploring other areas. Whilst you're exploring, look out for for sale signs. Some are estate agents and some are homemade, but we discovered that not all properties get listed. So you will need to find an agent to work with who understands what you are looking for. This may not be as easy as it sounds and don't be afraid to move on until you find the right agent for you. The problem we experienced was that we wanted to live in the north of the island and the estate agents are used to British people wanting to live in the south where the weather is usually warmer and drier. Let's just take a moment to mention microclimates. Madeira Island is known for its many microclimates and here in Ponta Delgada we are in a microclimate and when our architect visits from Funchal she usually says the weather is warmer and sunnier here in Ponta Delgada. We are Samantha North from Digital Emigre if she could recommend an estate agent to us and she put us in touch with Angela, a real estate specialist at Newco. Angela has a civil engineering background as well as real estate and we met with her the day before we had to leave the island. We talked through what we were looking for. At the time, our criteria was for a fairly rural property with plenty of green space around us within a 45 minute drive to the airport. Angela understood our love of the north around Sao Vicente, our interest in rehabilitation properties and that we would consider investing in more than one property to make up the golden visa threshold. She speaks English and another bonus was that Angela had contacts who knew of properties before they were coming on the market. We then travelled back to England and set up a WhatsApp group chat between the three of us. Angela would find a property, send us the details and if we were interested she would visit the property and make a video call to us while she was there. We loved the look of this property. It was in a remote location in the south and when we saw the location, we were sold. But Angela discovered it did not have the necessary license to live in, so we couldn't pursue it. Something to be mindful of on your own search. But this property made us want to live by the ocean. That became our dream. Angela had a contact in Ponta Delgada and she found this property for us, a traditional Madeira house in the village centre with some agricultural land. The house wasn't for us, but Ponta Delgada was. Property websites. We kept looking for a house ourselves using the Portuguese website idealista.pt and this is the website where we found our house. I remember one day in July, both Andrew and myself found our house on the same day and were so keen to find out more about it, we asked Angela to ring the estate agent, but it was already reserved. 
We were very disappointed, but we weren't in a position to proceed with the purchase then anyway. It is easy to set up an account. You can save searches and favourite properties and set up email alerts. And it was the email alerts that helped us secure our house. I had my alerts set up and in October, Idealista sent me an email to tell me one of my favourites had been relisted. It was our house. Here are a couple of other websites you can use. This one specialises in the north of the island. And this website says it is the go-to platform for buyers looking to invest in real estate abroad. And they have a good selection of properties in Madeira. One final tip we can share is that several agents will often list the same property and even at different prices. So be thorough in your research. Our house was listed with at least three different agents. Join us next time when we explain everything you need to get in order so you are prepared to put an offer in on a property. We didn't know any of this when we were buying. We share our story and you will see even if you are not ready, you can still make it happen. But watch our video so you are prepared to make it a much easier process.